All right, look, look, look. I say that to say this, right? Gigi Gotti, man. Yeah. That Monopoly 2 weekend, man. I'm going to look right into the camera. MJ, you get a camera. I got you. PC, you get a camera. <laughs> Vocals, you get a camera. <laughs> KP, you get a camera too, man. <laughs> we might have to recruit you for this, man. Okay. Yo, look. On the 27th, man, they doing a basketball tournament for 25K, right? Yeah. Everybody in battle rap. They saying it's a battle rap and celebrity joint. Uh, hey, yo, Fred. M3S3 Fred. Geechee Gotti, man. We will smoke. Everybody in the culture in a five-on-five -five basketball Come tournament, Come man. It's a two-player, yeah. I mean, two-loss elimination. I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to lose, so there it don't you matter. Go. You asking the wrong question, yeah, Pete. Yeah, yeah. You're right, I am. So look, man. Oh, so we going so from that tap-in podcast, we're going to get my man Phil. We're going to get Phil on. Nobody is going to be able to see us in that tournament, man. Absolutely. So I'm just letting y'all know y'all can have Hitman and Daylight on the same team. <laughs> Whatever type of cheating y'all want to do, you can have over niggas. Niggas that played in the NBA for two weeks. Careful. We <laughs> telling Careful. you. Right. I'm telling you. What, hap what happened at LA Fitness the, the, the other day, man? We ran the floor. This is All what night. I'm saying, man. All day. You know what we do out here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You already know. You don't know about Ninja Turtles, though. What you mean? I don't know about Ninja Turtles. I'm Name, a grown man. Name the Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, and uh, Leonardo. But there's another one. The you Black Ninja Turtle. You forgot one. No, I didn't. That's four. Say it again. Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo. But you see, now there's a black one. You know what I mean? He's part of their cousins. You don't know about him. His name D'Angelo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brown sugar? Brown sugar. You know what I mean? He's not a ninja for real, but he a nigga for real. You know what I'm saying? He scraps. Yo, you already know what it is, man. This Fred with the I Say That to Say This podcast. I got my boy Bricky with me. What's good? What's good with y'all, man? Y'all know I'm back. I be missing. I be, I be on the go, but I'm back. Like Y'all see we moving around, you see the new setup. We making moves, man. You know, it's only suckers stand still. Y'all know the motto, men make moves, suckers stand still. Yes, I'll say that, say this around. Come on, y'all see us moving around, y'all see the, the new ambiance. Yes, sir. We here, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, today we actually had a, a special guest, but he couldn't make it, so me and Bricky just gonna rock out. Pause, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, y'all know how we start the show? Look, man, I'm not above I'm you. I'm not above you. I'm, I'm not, not below, below you. I'm right, right here with you. you. My dog. You already know what it is, man. Hey, look, man. You know, I've been vacant for a little minute, dog. I've been on the go. So, you know, I got to ask. You've been, you been missing up to? from this. Well, you know, you've been missing. I've been missing. In action. You was there for the Imani episode, but you were. I was in the back. You was in the back. You was I had a lot back. of behind the scenes things to handle. For y'all don't know, man, I'm always on go. Like, I'm a ghost. I say that all the time. Somebody just called me, asked me if I know people in, uh, in North Carolina, they needed some things. I said, yeah. They said, you been to North Carolina before? No. Mm -hmm. I just know people in North Carolina. I just travel. So crap. You I do something. What you doing, yo? Huh? Now, let's just be honest now. What am I doing? What are you doing? So y'all follow me at Bricky Rose. Nah, yo. Uh-uh. <laughs> you oh, too busy. Nah. I know you, but then I don't know you. So well, I, I, I will always say this, bro. If anybody gets to know me, I'm the world's best networker, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I have a, I'm charismatic. I fit in everywhere. I'm a chameleon. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you need something business-wise done, I got real estate people. I got lawyers. I know police officers. You need some hood things done, I know people in this area, that area, this that area, that area. That sounds exactly like a drug deal. Huh? You sell dope. Not anymore. Your job description was drug. That's what you do. I'm, I'm a professional trader. Huh? You can even... <laughs> A professional reseller. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What needs to get going is going. Yeah. Simple as that. Man, listen. And people know to call who they call. All right, man. Whenever you need it, well, look, when you need a mechanic, who you call? You. <laughs> yeah, he, he came through with the mechanic. He came through with the... Yeah, okay. I got somebody for everything, man. Okay, okay. Um, Y'all already know, man, the episode's brought to you by M3S3. Y'all shot with us, www.m3s3apparel.com. Um, I heard you put it out there, but so you asked me how was my week, right? Yes, sir. Man, we have been working crazy these last three weeks. If y'all been keeping up with us on the Instagram, uh, M3S3 Apparel Instagram, I say that to I say this. I say that to say this podcast Instagram. You see, we have been nonstop. M3S3 Tourney. Come on, we got the M3S3 Tournament coming up April 27th. We got the Riot Battles coming up April 28th in Orlando. <sighs> We're making moves. We just had Kenny Dobbs put a team in. White Iverson put a team in. Um, it's about to be lit, it's bro. It's about to be lit. And then y'all see we announced Tay Rock versus A Ward. Snake Eyes. Uh, versus Riggs. Come on, we not stopping, man. All right. We so, making moves. Shout out to the Riot. Shout out to M3S3. Shout out to No Studioing. 
Uh, big shout out to my guy Q. He behind the scenes, y'all don't get to see him, but he make moves. Shout out to my boy Mags. And shout out to the whole M3S3 squad. We are moving. So All right. it's so been busy. I, I want to park right here real quick. Okay. You know, this is really, this is really something I, I love. Mm -hmm. Anybody know me? I love AWAR. I love Tay Rock. Both of them fire battle rappers, right? Right. So going into this, Tay Rock got six battles. AWAR being the last battle. Three this month, three next month. He said on back Twitter. He back said back on back Twitter. Back. All he no, he said on, on 15 Minutes of Fame, he said. All these batters are. I'm just cruising through yep. them until I get to it's a award. So that's how that. So that makes me feel like it was everything is worth it. Us being two battle rap heads, right? Mm -hmm. Who you got? Um, should I be politically correct? Cause it's I'm part of the event. Look, man, you know, no, look, this isn't one of those, dang, Fred. Look, man, he's he could have his opinion, all right, man? He's not in Baltimore right now. We vibing. Okay. It's I, spring break. I'm going to do it like this. 2-1 either way. Why? Tay Rock, consistent. His flow, consistent. His, his cadence, consistent. He be, damn near never chokes. Um, and if oh, he does. I once if, in a career. If he does, it's like, it, it's not like a. You know, a crazy yeah. pause. Um, <laughs> a war. One of my favorite rebuttalers. Rebuttal game crazy. The number two best rebuttaler right now. I mean, I mean, that's the that's the scary thing about A Ward is like, if let's say Tay Rock comes with some crazy bars and it just throws A Ward off his off his ten. When it's A Ward's turn, he's gonna rebuttal what threw him off his ten. That's what makes him Look. dangerous. But Tay Rock's aggression, crowd control, I mean, I think he's, if like they, if we had like ratings and these yeah. were like uh, video games, Tay Rock would be like maybe, I don't know, Ken or Ryu if it was Street Fighter type shit. Why you want a Ken or Ryu? Why you want a Street Fighter? You don't play Tekken? Street Fighter better than Tekken. Come on, don't do that. Tekken the hottest fighting game what? out right now, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Street hottest Fighter not out. better than Tekken? No. No, we're going to get to that. So everybody don't want to play with them blocks. All the, they all blocky. All. And that's how I know you don't play Tekken no more. Cause Street Fighter the blocky one. No, it's not. Play Tekken. Come to my crib. I got it. Tekken eight. I'm no, not, I, anybody want the smoke? Add me. Bricky Rose. Let's I'm go. I'm cool with Tekken too. I'm, I'm on top of it. Look. Now, if you look at it, right? A Ward. What I say is he never. His pivot's always good. Mm -hmm. You can never move his pivot. If it was A Ward now, Hollow the Don situation with Tay Rock, A Ward probably would have the cleanest rebuttal to the seatbelt bar. Right? I, I will always think that. A Ward, Chef Trez are the two best people to have rebuttaled that bar. This is Tay Rock, and he knows this, this is going to be a dog fight. Yeah. Now, I hate to say this because we outside of Black History Month, bro. This is going to hurt me to say because it's, it's, it's something that we talk about in my other battle rap group chat. A Ward don't lose to black people, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Bro, he only loses to white dudes. Go look, go look at his history. Go look at his history. I got Gotti beating A Ward one of them. I think it's one one with Gotti. Who won the first one? Was it Gotti? won the first one. Gotti, you know you my boy, bro. A, a Ward won. A Ward beat him the first time. The but second I think time Gotti beat him the second time. Man, I think that was debatable. Now, don't get it twisted. I edged Gotti, right? But okay, so if you edge Gotti, then your points dead. No, it's not that, bro. That shit was close. I had to watch that battle like close six times. Not, I don't care if he won by point five. He won. All right, you can have that. You can have that. I, I can't even argue that. He won. You right. But at the end of the day, bro, I think a Ward is just one of those dudes, like, you can't sleep. And I'm glad Tay Rock knows out of his entire schedule, mm -hmm. a Ward is a person you can't sleep on. And you True. got competition in front of you. True. Don't get it twisted. You got competition. Mm -hmm. I don't say Sirius Jones is trash. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He could rap. Sirius we Jones is a that. legend. We're going to get to that. He's a legend. We oh, oh, we're Sirius about Jones to right to it. Don't get it twisted, Sirius Jones. Bro, you, well, all right, look, hold on. You new battle rap fans, dog. Let me let me get this straight with y'all real quick. Y'all got to respect the legends. These are peers. If you watch football, you don't respect Dan Marino, but two are still the quarterback for the Dolphins. You feel me? Y'all got to show that respect because you wouldn't have your dudes without people like Sirius Jones, oh, without, um, without um, what was it, Charlie Clinton, not Charlie Clinton, without no, Rex. Yeah. Without yeah. Sirius Jones, without Mook, and he hear me say it all the time, Mook going to lose. He don't got it no more. I but I would never he disrespect Mook to what he do. What was your favorite Sirius Jones battle? Clips. Mine was against Mook. Really? Yeah, because when he started freestyling at the end, he was like, by the way, Smack, get take a look at his tight-ass jeans. And then he put the <laughs> camera on his jeans, and then... <laughs> 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 he said... 
He to my he t- <laughs> he said something like he talking about the like he freestyled that shit and then Mook then Mook said something like um I forgot what he said but he said he said it's the truth but come on Mook you do all that spitting outside he said you do all that spitting outside of the uh or something, what about in the booth? Mm-hmm. Like he just started freestyling, bro. I, I, and that's when I was like, yo, I'm that's, a fan. That's what I like about Serious Jones. When he freestyles, his, a lot of his actually makes sense, too. And that's another thing. I feel like Jones is somebody who made the freestyling look good for what he do in the ring. You feel me? My only and knock on him is he... he, is he I don't like he his he start ego. flowing and killing him, he stop. Yeah. I think that's where he loses. I, like, I don't like his Jones ego. be killed, and he'll stop and then and, and like do all this... The faces, and I'm like, bro, just keep rapping. Because he's looking for reaction. That's why when people tell me twerk. That's why I miss Surf. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. When Surf would go, he would just go. He or, or he would be going, and if the crowd was too much, he'd say, shut up. He'd tell the crowd, shut up. That's why I like hit I never, I never knew. That's how I knew he had star power. If you could tell the crowd, shut up, and they're like, yeah, shut up. Yeah. yeah. They still going. They don't. You tell them, shut up, everybody cheer. That's yeah. crazy. Nah, that's, that's wild. He, he, he's out of there. But um, so let's let's go on because while we're on the topic of battle rap, I know I seen the volumes. You seen the Pull volumes? It Pull it up. How you feel? Pull the card up. Well, I know the whole card off the top. I mean, so we can go down, and be professional, don't waste too much time. All right, boom. So you ain't gonna pull the card up still? I don't need to. So first so, battle, hustle versus chess. I heard. So I missed that one, but I heard hustle one. Yeah, I heard hustle one. I missed I that one. I heard chess threw up first round. Like, he had the the whole anxious chest, man. Seek some help, bro. I love you, brother. I say this because I care about you, dog. Oh. Seek some help because that's, that's a real health issue. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's a mental issue. That's something going around your health. It's happening every Dang, time. Seek chest. some help, brother. Um, but Hustle, Hustle been on fire, though. You know what I mean? The Hustle units battle, Hustle been killing it, so I'm not even surprised. Yeah, you know what I mean? Even if he was healthy, you can't say the same. Uh, next battle was Trez versus Clips. I didn't. I heard. Uh, Trez got that. Heard bro. Trez won. Trez got that. Yeah. Which, uh, was, which was an upset. Clips had a good first round. Mm-hmm. He actually showed like why he's Clips. You know what I'm saying? I'll give Clips the first. Um, Trez got the, the last two. Okay. Easily. Clips started doing that bullshit freestyle stuff. Mm-hmm. Congrats, by the way, Clips. Welcome to the Daddy Club. You know we all parents out here. Yeah, salute. Congrats to your first one, man. Salute, salute to the to the goat. Still mm-hmm. my favorite battle rapper, old trash ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Who we had next? Oh man. This to me the battle of the night. Tay Rock versus Sirius Jones. We was talking about it. I got rock. That's the one I, I got didn't see. I got rock. I got rock. To but me, I got it with a, a thirty too. Rock first round was incredible. Mm-hmm. Incredible bar for bar. Mm-hmm. AMG mode. Free the wave. Free the wave. Rock was spazzing on Sirius. Free the wave. Yeah, Free and the, the fact that this is you on autopilot. Wasn't there another battle? Yeah, last battle was Twerk versus T Top. And top one, right? Yeah, Twerk uh, choked his first 15 seconds, uh, rapping his first round. The second and third he got through? Uh, Yeah, second, he continued from where he left off in his first with the choke, mm-hmm. picked it up. He re- he knew his material, mm-hmm. but it was the the way the crowd was. It kind of threw him off, but he did say that. So I'm not mad at Twerk. Twerk been consistent, so I don't want nobody to say, oh, he's a choke artist. He's not. He's been consistent. Mm-hmm. He knew his round, just the environment threw him off. Mm-hmm. He picked it back up. Uh, both Top and Twerk was kind of sloppy in the third to me, mm-hmm. but the battle was pretty solid overall, and then Oom P versus um, Ace Amin. Oh, yeah, Oom P. Shout out Oom P. I, who won that one? They ain't battle. Oh, they, um, they didn't go down. Oom okay. P couldn't make it. Uh, something with his flight, he couldn't make it. Smack said he's going to try to get that going I on. I had Ace in that one only because... I was like I, I didn't see it. And it, didn't, it didn't happen. But when they were asking me who I think, yeah. Snake Eyes asked me like who I think. I said uh, Ace, and he was like, "Is that because that's your man or because?" Nah. And I would say because I never got to see Um P, but I, I heard he was back in the day. He was killing shit. I never got to see him though. You know what but I'm saying? You see, this the thing is when it comes to volumes, I feel like things like that is made for people like Ace Amin, Danny Myers, J C. Those rooms, oh, red, like those rooms are meant for these kind of guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, Ace Amin did a volume before, it wasn't pretty clean, but he wasn't polished. He's polished up now. Mm. And I feel like if Ace battled in that room that day, he would have gotten body of the night. So let me get, let me, so, you know, the volume as a whole, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs down, bro. Yeah, it was the worst volume ever to me. But don't so, worry. It was an issue every battle. But don't worry. April 27th, M3S3. No studio in. Riot. We saving battle. We I ain't say we saving battle rap, but we gonna come back from that event. Smack, salute to Smack. Salute to um Beasley. Y'all pull up. Beasley said he Rings was gonna pull up. Snake but eyes. salute. Our event is gonna be top 
notch to the T, Orlando, Florida. If you haven't put your team in yet um, for April 27th, lock your team in. I think we got four slots left. And then um, the card is locked, but get your tickets. Get your tickets. Once we sold out, we sold out. Ain't no hookups. Everybody, I love y'all, but I know how that should be going. Y'all, if you're on my side, it's over. Come get your jerseys too, man. Y'all did. M3, I'm telling you right jerseys. now, you did. Hold up. If, I haven't, if we haven't established something yet, I need you to support and pay, yo. For real. Right. Because we put out a lot for this event. I need you to support and pay. I can't. I'm not. I'm not coming to the door. I'm making it. A, I'm making it a thing. I'm telling. Listen, I'm not coming to the door. Wow. So if you're on the team and you're supposed to be helping out and you ain't there early, like when I'm there, because I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna go to the gym still, and I'm gonna go to the to the building. If you ain't in the building, don't try to come through like you a star because you're gonna be a star outside in the sky. You're gonna be a star. <laughs> you're not getting in. You're gonna be at Hooters, my pay. boy. You know what I'm saying? So, you and Wings uh, at Hooters. But that's April 27, April 28. Now, let's go to this. Let's go to some music real quick, right? You know, um, you know my favorite topic, baby. Come on, let's go to some music real quick. Did you get a chance to hear the uh, the Cardi B single, Enough? Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, dog. You rock with it? I need a Cardi album. You So you rock with a single? I need a Cardi album, bro. Is the single fire? Fire. Yeah, single dope. Fire. I'll give it to her. Single dope. I need a Cardi album. Come on, baby girl, you know what I mean? I'm like, what? In Napa? See, you know what she remind me? She she remind me of like certain shorties out in Miami, how they talk. Is that why she I like her? She got that accent. It's probably why you like her. You Is that like, why I like her? You like, uh, what's she sound like? I don't, I'm bad with like- She sound like a woman that if I go to a restaurant and say no pickles, she gonna cuss them up, they put pickles on yeah, it. Yeah, she's like, I'm like, what? In Napa? <laughs> <laughs> she has a freestyle out too, man. I think it was dope. Yeah, when, uh, she dope. The classic beat. I forgot the beat, man. My fault. What about, okay. What about, uh, yeah, yeah. They said that she stole that from, uh, what's yeah, his name? Something Juice Ski World. Mask. Juice World. Yeah. No, Ski Mask. The ski Mask? Okay, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name is Ski Mask. You no, no, no. I'm going to be mask. real, though. I'm gonna be, I did hear that a That's long a Missy time. Elliot I did hear that freestyle, and, and the cadence is the same. Missy Elliott's cadence. That's Missy Elliott's beat, bro. It's not his beat. Now, you know cadence. I know that. I know. Shout out to Missy. So, they got to give credit to Missy Elliott. Misdemeanor mm -hmm. Elliot, y'all Google her. What's Missy Elliott's best song? Damn. All right, I'm biased because you know Ludacris is my favorite artist. Gossip folks. Gossip folks. You gonna put me on blast? Gossip folks. I'm gonna say crazy. Ooh. You don't know what that is. Don't act like don't that. Don't play that. Don't play that. I right, go. I listen to everything. I can't remember the beat. I know the album though. It's on the album. It's on the album. <laughs> no. What's the song? How it go? No, I rap. No, no, don't try to reverse that. I, I, I did rap him back. You don't even See, remember. This is why I'm firing arguments. Don't reverse me. Do you know the song? I know the song. I don't know about her. It go fast, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, it do. <laughs> it go slow. Yeah, I'm thinking the wrong song. It go, it be like crazy. Oh, no, I'm definitely thinking the wrong song. Feeling. Nope, I'm definitely thinking See, the wrong song. See, this one of those. I'm people, definitely thinking the wrong people song. People don't know. See, that's that shit. I'm definitely thinking the wrong song. Yeah, uh, any songs that you could like chill, think, and clap to. If I could chill, I could think to it, and I can clap, that's my favorite she song. She has a, a song on the that's album before song? Cookbook, and there's a song on there. I can't remember the name of it. I thought that's what Crazy you were talking about. Crazy Feelings. It's a uh, card. Uh, what? It's uh, Missy Elliott and I, I want to say Beyonce on there. She might not be, but Crazy Feelings by Missy Elliott is my favorite Missy song. All right, let's run it. Um, so talk to me about this. Did you hear the Gorilla song? Yeah, Gosh. Glow. I ain't going to lie, bro. Yeah, Glow. That's my shit, cuz. I like that shit. <laughs> yeah, Glow. Yeah. I like that yeah. shit. I like, she from Memphis. I like how she said Cuban. She from Memphis? Yeah, she got the ball Cuban. She said Cuban. <laughs> Cuban. <laughs> I got the wrist of my Cuban. I ain't know where she was from, bro. It's hard for me to yeah, keep up with all these rappers. That's why, that's why, um, what's his name? Sonder. Um, Yo Gotti. Oh, I ain't know that's why he Sonder. Mm, I mean, I, I she love talented Gorilla, too. But listen, did you see, it came out, Cardi B's on the press run, and she talked, she told it, uh, they're cousins. They're actually blood cousins. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I need an album with them two, too, because that Tomorrow That'd 2 be shit, crazy. still my shit. I like, I, I like Glorilla over most of these girls. Like, I don't like, um, uh, she, I don't like, I mean, the new girls. I don't like, I mean, Sexy Red, I don't, she's just not for me. Yeah, ain't for I'll me. I'll say that. I'll say that. I'll be politically I'll say the same thing about Meg. Meg ain't for me. Yeah, because I'm not going to be in a club yelling about my booty hole. That's like, what? Booty hole brown. A booty hole what, what brown. What Imani said? Yeah, it's like a light black. Yeah, he said it's a light black. <laughs> it's like a light black. How is that fire, though? Are it's we not, bro. No, it's not that. All right, think about back. Bro, listen, listen. Where are we at as a culture that that's fire? So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, right? Think about in our culture back then, right? Guess what song we used to listen to? What? Doodle Brown! Doodle Brown! Doodle! That's they Doodle Brown. Let's Doodle Brown sounds stupid to our parents. That's not Doodle Brown, yo. Doodle Brown sounds stupid. Bro, Doodle Brown. Imagine your parent listening to you talking about Doodle Brown. Doodle Brown. Y'all talking about caca? Y'all talking about doodle? Yeah. She talking about a, a, yeah. a butthole. 
But she got more songs, though. Yeah, but that's what I could only like the analogy of it. So I'm not mad at her for doing it. It just ain't for me. I love to do the brown, I'm though. I'm mad. That shit weird. It is. But it's brown, though. I've seen the tape. <laughs> yeah, sex tape release and that shit was I seen weird. the tape. I ain't like her face. She like that young thug in court. Weird. That but every, I seen the tape. Every man on gummy. If you watch that and got turned on, like you something something's up. You ever if you watch, watch that sex tape, you like, yo, that shit crazy. <laughs> something's off. You ever seen SpongeBob? She like the dude that go, my leg? And yeah, that sex nah, tape. Yeah. That shit was nasty. Like, bro, what is this? Like that shit was nasty. I could smell the room from the video. Yeah, it wasn't polite. <laughs> it wasn't polite, bro. It was a scratch and sniff. Smell like gym socks in there. <laughs> Smell like gym socks. So check in this there. out. Uh, Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj. Cardi. It, it ain't a debate. It ain't a debate. It ain't a debate. M- music, musically yeah. too. Are we counting entire no, catalog? Entire no, it's catalog. Period. Cardi B or Nicki. That's what I'm saying. Because in this current state, I'm gonna say I'm, Cardi. Uh, I'm, I'm about to throw it at you then. Cardi B or Nicki looks. Cardi. Cardi B or Nicki personality? Cardi. Cardi B or Nicki music? Cardi. That's the part. Wait. Hey, Ooh, we talking wow. current, are we talking current state? For, oh, music, music. for music. For music. Everything. Nicki. I'm about to say, you Nicki. tripping. As Nicki. much of a Lil Wayne fan as you is? That's why I, that's why I want to know is it entire catalog. Because I was just oh, listening, yeah, I I just, was listening I just, to Monster before I pulled out. Come on, man. Pull up in the... Come on. Come on what bro. was uh Good Morning Remix? Come on. Friday. Yeah, come on. You, Nikki was I got different. Nikki, I got Nikki looks. I got Nikki music. But I got Cardi personality. It's because I think I see... I feel like I could kick it with... And shout out to Ashley. She put this out to me the other day. I, I think that I could kick it with Nikki. I mean, uh, with Cardi. Like, she could be one of the homegirls. Nikki seemed like super like ew like what? oh you're wearing like she's but that's my problem with Nikki because yeah. you came from that so why yeah, you see yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember, I remember Nikki from the uh, not the Smack DVD but it was called Come Up DVD I remember Nikki from yeah, back so then she switched I remember I sure. met Nikki Minaj once right mm-hmm. my homeboy was a manager of uh, the one hotel you so, met you say you met her yeah I met her so my homeboy was a manager of the one hotel mm-hmm. it's down like South Beach the one so, mm-hmm. yeah so I used to go over there. Kick it, you get, used to get in the pool for free. This is back when Nikki was dating uh, Meek. Met Nikki and Meek. Meek, cool dude, pretty locked in what he do. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna say the word, cause I don't see Nikki in that way, but her attitude, her, her energy was real. Stuck up. B- bitchy like, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Now, Grant, like, she wasn't talking to nobody. Like, you're, you're, you think you're on a Janet Jackson level at the time? But my girl, you still haven't reached those accolades yet. You know what I'm saying? She reached the accolades to be cocky, though. At that time, though. That's at, what that t- at that time? At that time, she had the accolade, too. She was there. Like, she was literally... She had the, she she, had the right to she, be... She was getting into that entry to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was getting to the... She no, when like, she was with Nikki... At that me, point, she was with no, me. At, at that point, she was solidified, yeah. Right. Like, Lil Wayne wasn't rapping the same. Drake wasn't who Drake really is now than mm, he was then. Nah, Drake been Drake since, like, 2000 and... Nah, bro. At that point, Nikki was still taking Drake over. Drake been Drake since 2009. We just said the Nikki versus, right? So no ceilings. She was killing Sweet Dreams. She did the five star, uh, five star remix. Yo Gotti. She had the bro. That's it, like 2000. No, but listen, I'm I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying. She had Drake beat. She had the itty bitty piggy. She had the remix of uh, Good Morning. She had the soul. She had the monster. At this point in time, and Pink Friday was crazy. Pink Friday was a classic. So at this point in time, you agree? Her fame, hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, what? I was ready fire. I was ready. At for this that. point in time, her fame was higher than Drake's. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. But uh, I feel like at those moments, you shouldn't forget the clock you was cut from. Right. You're you're with Meek. Why is Meek saying hi to people? And you just stuck up. Mm. You know what I mean? Y'all both kind of from the same kind of clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's where I was like, damn, your energy is kind of different than what sure. I expect. That's Cardi. Cardi may be like, she'll tell you I've been a little bitchy, but she'll come out and say it on uh, IG. I was having a bad day. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for the fans. I like I Cardi. She's relatable. I fuck with Cardi, bro. She relatable. I fuck with Cardi. Now, I'm going to ask you this, right? I want you to be honest. No, I ain't never did crack, bro. That was just one video, dog. It was, yeah. it was, it was, oh, you, <laughs> did, oh, you definitely did crack. I ain't doing that but shit, bro. You did it and Wait. you sell it. We've already snapped that. <laughs> Don't try to debate. Okay, I got this for you, though. You gonna be honest? You hit the drink? I'm always honest. Did you hit the truth juice? Yeah. All right, so listen to this. Have hey, you ever had to answer the phone next to your girl at whenever time in your life and it was some bullshit on the phone? Yeah. Funny enough. What happened? There was a time where me and my girl were smashing. Are you too much gums? 
Huh? You something yeah, for me. You about to tell me some truth. There was a time love where it. me and my girl were smashing, and I answered the phone to the side chick while I'm smashing my girl. Yo, what's wrong with you? A lot. A lot. I'm pretty sure I was dropped on my head. I didn't wait. Huh? What? You couldn't wait? It was fire? Nah, so I was telling her I'm busy. I, I answered like, yo, I'm busy. Like, I'm, I'm doing something right now. And my girl watched me answer the phone. She wasn't like oblivious to it. So she moaned louder to try to get the girl off the phone. And I'm like, can't you see? I'm like, I'm distracted. All right, you can't say she was my girl because it wasn't somebody I was planning on marrying. None Carson, of that. hold on, bro. What you? Why you took the hat off? I stressed you out. God, I, I, need, I need my brain to get air to hear what you just. <laughs> did you? You said you clapping. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. You answer the phone. Man, clap. She right here. Okay, now it. why did you do it? Because I was getting a phone call. <laughs> you answer the phone. Yeah. And she say, and, and the, and, and the shorty, you, the shorty you dealing with go harder because she know your side she, on the phone. She know I'm on the phone with another female. So she, oh, so you was in like a relationship where she accepted that that's who you are? Yeah. Huh? Are you with me? Yeah. You're not? I am. It wasn't a relationship. Like, you was a female I was dealing with. You was the primary focus at the moment, but I kind of already knew it wasn't so a relationship. So you like nowhere. in that I'm single, but I got a team type thing? Yeah. I had a roster. What's the most you had in your roster ever? Three. I can't go past. It's too much. It's too much responsibility. Listen, don't try to talk humble after that story. It's not. You're, I, dirt, you're dirty. I am. You're already a dirt bag. I know. So just, what's the most you had in your team? Three. Honestly. Three? Three? Yeah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Currently, damn. Damn. <laughs> Times change now. Because mm -hmm. currently it's not three. What? I ain't not. You just said three. No, I'm still saying currently. I had to think now. What's the most? I'm what? a dirt bag. I already, yeah, we established that. So where you at? At one time. On your team. Cinco. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay, you got to count I'm bad fingers? Spending. I got to use the fingers. Cinco. Five? So you had five on your team at once. I'm traveling. You juggling phone calls, texting every morning, good morning, baby, whatever. I'm going to see you in Chicago. <laughs> this guy. Yo. <laughs> you crazy. You know that? Focus. Look, this man on the phone. No, nah, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get our guest in. You see how I go? This man on the phone. He don't know what. what it's what not it. that. I'm trying to get our guest in, man. She here? Yeah. Oh, she she can come in and she can walk. She don't in. know. She don't know the code. I told you the code. Here, take my phone, text it. Here, I'm gonna take my phone, text right it. Now. But um, nah. So definitely had a roster up on there. Um, right now it's about five. Uh, it's, it's traveling though. Not everybody in one location. I kind of like that. But I ain't gonna lie. I don't like the lifestyle. Cause I'm a person who want to get married. It's just at this point in time, females ain't shit, dog. Y'all trying to move like niggas? I'm gonna show you how a nigga play the game. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I ain't one of them niggas. I ain't one of them niggas. I'm Why not... you mention you want to get married? I always want to get married. But That's everybody watching this know you, you you crazy. Yeah. What? You, you think I'm going to get married? Not, I'm, you, I okay. air my shit out. So, so are you are you open to an open relationship? If I'm married, nah. If, like, if you're somebody I'm serious with, nah. Nah. But um, You're not open to an open relationship? Nah. Why? Because if I'm married, that's, that's the only woman I want. And trust me, I have dreams, thoughts, all of that shit. I love women for real. Like I said, it's just situational. You got to see what she said back. He's trying to get, listen, we got a, we got somebody else coming in. Um, what's her name? Uh, my, my girl Nat, man. She about to pull up. His homie, his homie Nat pulling up, about to be on the show. So he's trying to get her in, right? Yeah. So that's what he's doing, y'all. If he looks distracted, he don't have ADHD. He's really trying. Yeah, bro. We got we got a lot coming. Trust me, y'all gonna have y'all gonna love what's coming up, man. So 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 you're you're not open to an open relationship. Nah, man. Like marriage always been my thing, bro. I'm a corny ass dude. I say that shit all the time, and these females don't like. You know corny what? No I see more. what you're trying to do, and it's too late. No, it's you not. You can't paint this. Yo, you know, I'm just this guy, man. You know, I just want a family. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I truly want to do everything to right. You just said I had a... Th Yo, I was clapping shorty. And, 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 and now you switch so, to the... No, you like right. DMX. All right, so, so, DMX so... DMX about bodying so, people. What you blood, want me to do? You want me, my flesh, you want blood me, in my you blood, want me to, And in the last <laughs> track, he praying. That's what you want. <laughs> you want me to give a... F <laughs> you want me to be humble to somebody who's not mine. I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be single and pray every day to, to these females? Yes. You I'm see, not bowing down. You're supposed to pray every day no matter what. So you telling me I got to spend money on these dates... 
Mm-mm. to bow down to to these people. And Fuck that. I'm gonna tell you. you Fuck that. No, I never said that. You doing what my shorty be doing? I did not say that. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. You did it. You did it. You told me. Nah, you so, just said you tell me I'm supposed to spend money. I never said I, I, nothing I'm, about I'm, look, that. As long as I'm single, I'm gonna live my life single, right? Right. I've been somebody who's been trying to keep that humble life for God knows how long. I bought a ring for my last ex. Like the plan Talk was to get it. married. Talk about it. So we dated what five years. I bought a ring, everything. Her true colors were showing at that moment. So I bought this ring cash, no month, no payments, no nothing. Fire. Went to the store, paid it. My homegirl worked at the store at the time. It should cost six bands. Mm. Paid it, got the ring, mm-hmm. had it, ready to propose my birthday. You showed your true colors. Went back to the store, keep this shit. She ain't getting nothing. She ain't getting nothing. And luckily, what I did. What color was it? Oh, it was a heart cut. Heart cut ring. I, had, I was gonna no, get no, her no. in the grave. What were the true colors? What did she do? Oh, she was rude. Rude in a bitch. Rude. Rude. It was you had no sex. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. There's more. You there's didn't more, break the more. engagement now because there's, no there's, no, there's more. There's more. Let me finish, bro. You can't cut me off with one. Rude. Not trying to smash. Whenever a nigga trying to get some, you was no, no, no. You was like not putting into nothing. So she's the one who got me to move out of my mama crib. Let's have a future together, right? So I said, bet. You know, I'm a mama's boy, so I ain't want to dip. Got the crib. She said, let's get one together. Got the crib and said, oh, I ain't moving with you. I'm staying with my mama. What? Why the fuck did you get me to move out? That so, was that, but that wasn't the deal breaker. No, nah, that wasn't the deal breaker. That was one, right? So now, as you trying to move forward with a relationship, I love you. I'm thinking you love me. You entertaining other niggas, right? Uh-huh. So now I'm somebody who care about you. I gave you multiple chance after multiple chance after multiple chance. I got a story in this one. I'm going to tell that probably in another episode because I probably ain't got the time today. So get to it then. What was it that make you take the ring back? It's the entertainment to other niggas, but I'm the nigga that's trying to give you everything in the world. I gave you the world. What's entertainment to other dudes? What do you think entertainment to other dudes is? Like responding to DMs? Respond, going on dates with these niggas. Oh, that's hard. I gotta hard. catch you like... Oh, that's hard body. All right, so this, this is one that's of the... That's hard body. This is one of the reasons, right? Y'all together and she going on dates. You, exactly. So listen to this. You don't know, you low key... I like, didn't know. But she was sneaking around your back. Yeah, so this... Clap? Did she get clapped? I don't know. I wasn't there. But listen to this. Your spider senses. You remember how we started? Yeah, that's how I felt. Hell yeah, that's how I felt. Okay, good. So you remember how you asked me or you told me, what do I do? I know a lot of people, right? Right. So one time, something just rubbed me the wrong way. My spider senses. I'm like, where the fuck she at? She not answering her phone. So I know somebody who worked as an FBI agent. Called them. Gave them license plate. <laughs> told me where she was at. Right. Told me where she was at. Like, that dead ass. Right. Like, told me where she was at. Hop in the whip. I pull up. She in the whip. A whip buddy. Anybody. Woo! Anybody who know me know I'm normally armed, but I ain't bring it with me. I said, you know what? Well, I brought it with me, but I ain't take it out the whip with me. I get to the car, and I'm a very calm she person. She driving? Nah, he is. She in the passenger seat. Yeah. So now I'm a very, I get very aggressive. Boy, I didn't even, I don't even I knocked on the door. I think he left his door unlocked. I opened the door, and yo, the fuck? I'm not even talking to Buddy. Like, I kind of snatched Buddy out and just cussing her out. Just cussing her out. You know what I'm saying? So from there, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Right? Now, my stupid ass gave her another chance after that. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, a nigga love love. I'm trying to get my shit rocking. A nigga right. love love. That's always been the goal. So I gave her another chance. Now you're talking to coworkers at your job. You know what I'm saying? So it got to a point where I'm like, you know what, bro? Fuck all of this shit. At this point, because I don't get mad. Like, anybody know me, I don't get mad. This is the one time I ever really got mad at a female. I'm going to tell you something right I now. I punched my car window out. Guess what? You get mad her. now. Huh? You do get mad. When I get... No, see, you, you think... Just... You just, the story, you you lifted somebody in the club for some shit. No, that's defending a woman. Oh, okay. That's different. But you was, you uh, was, you was, uh, you was calm you, when you did that. Yeah, I was, I was sober at all. It's the fact, a woman can't, if you a big dude, a woman can't defend herself, I'm a big dude. Nigga, fight me. If you, if you could act like that with a woman, do it to me. Do mm-hmm. it to me. Let's, okay. let's, let's, let's a gangster. Do it to me. If you can't do it to me, you're not a man. I respect that. Okay. Simple as that. Okay, but so boom. At, at that point, so, so I finally got tight. It wasn't my window, it was my back door. Punched right. it, left a dent in my car, fucked all my knuckles you up. You punched your own car? Punched my own car. Explain that. I was tight. I, I used to box, so for those who don't know, I used to box, so. I ain't know you, you box. I got gloves in my car 24-7. Mm. They're in my car right now. Boxing is Wraps, hard. everything, everything I'm in my car. I'm gonna tell you, I, get, I got, boxing's hard. This is my Because I came sport. up fighting all the time. Like, people who watch it, like, your phrase always fight. Win, lose, whatever. I, yeah. I, I, I never was scared to fight. Me neither. Ever. You know what I'm saying? So I thought I knew a little something. There's a, there's a gym out here, a boxer. Shout out to boxer. I, I went to boxer. You know, I was doing my little. I'm, I'm coming in there thinking I got hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they showed you. And my trainer, a female. So I'm like, oh man, here we go. 
Um, I got the, I got the, like the smooth smirk. Like she's like, you gotta hit the bag. Like, gotta hit the bag. Yeah, I got you. I See, go over there, hit the bag. She's like, okay, come over here, baby. I thought I was Southpaw. I'm not. No. Nah. She brought me in front of everybody. She was. She, long story short, she straightened me. She she tightened me up, like Easy would say. Boxing is is is, is difficult. Like, fighting and boxing is two different worlds, and just like you gotta. But go ahead. You're a boxer. You yeah. hit your own car. Crazy. So I hit my car. Fucked up my hand. From there, I was like, you know, and I did a lot more shit like. And then that's when I, you broke it. I was yeah. That's I was, when you took the ring back. Yeah, no, nah, I took the ring back before that. I was just thought we could get back to it, but I, I was smashing. And this is out of character for me. I'm smashing vases around the house. I'm burning shit. You, I'm tight. Like I've never violent. been. I've never been like this before. So at this point, I'm like, why would I let somebody who tried me multiple times get me out of character like this? Mm-hmm. Like this not me. So at that point, we broke up. I went to therapy. Come like this isn't me, and I just locked in ever since. So that's why, like, when people be asking me why I've been single for about six, seven years, that's why. Because that one thing gets you out of character so much, it keeps you uncomfortable. So that's when y'all hear me tell these stories. Don't get a twist. I want to get married. But I've been tried for so long, you got to show me you want to be with me. Let for me real, ask. for real. And that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. I would have never thought that you wanted to get married till you said that. You ain't seen my IG yesterday? You don't fuck with me like that. I see your IG a lot. <laughs> see all the time. But what I'm trying to tell you is, you're crazy. So I don't know what you want. I'm very nonchalant. I'll be laughing at you. You're never time. nonchalant. I'm very nonchalant. Okay, I guess I'll give you that. You, when it, when I you give, I'm going to give you that so we get to the next question. I don't Damn. believe you. I'm going to go to the next question. Are you a feet person? You like feet? Is Hell like no. feet a thing for... No. No. Nah. Nah. You don't care about feet. For me, this goes back. You got to be my lady, bro. I'm not sucking on no toes unless you're my lady. But no, 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 no. I'm not asking if what you can do to the feet. Is no. it attractive to no. you? Like, do you like, yo, is that a deal breaker? Like, oh, toes is hurt. I'm out. Or is it like, oh, so good. Oh, no. Nah, it's your feet, your feet, man. Do you don't you care about feet? No, nah, I put socks on my shit. So you put socks on your shit. I don't care. That's big in Miami, though. They like big on feet. Yeah, f- foot fetishes. Right. That's like that's like a the thing, right? Weird. I don't know. Huh? Why you ask me that? I don't that's know. a trick question. If you just say, yeah, they got you. Nah, I don't know, nigga. So you don't care about feet? Nah. I would like, to, if I see a woman get like French tips on her toes, we get, Toes done. That's good. It look good. I'm gonna keep moving. But if toes not done, you don't care. I'm just not gonna. I'm just walk away. I'm not gonna tell you your toes like Godzilla. I'm just gonna walk away. So what's the fetish that you went to that most people don't would think is crazy? lips? No, people like lips. lips. I said that people would think it's crazy. Oh, you said like people would think it's crazy. Damn. I'm trying to be smooth. Camera on. I don't. Nah, I ain't trying to be no smooth, man. Cause for me, it's things like lips. I like eating pussy. I don't know. Other than that. That stuff that's uh, fly. That stuff that's you want, me, you, want like, oh. some, you want me to say some crazy shit? I don't know what exactly. those crazy yeah, 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 shit. Something crazy. I don't know, man. Shit, you. I might want to ask you that question because <laughs> I can't think of one for me. <laughs> I can't think of one for me. So everything you, you don't like, nothing like off the wall, nothing nothing that's a deal breaker for most people. I don't know what he be trying to get me to say. What you want to tell me? I, I like know you're crazy. I'm just trying to tap into the crazy. I like Puerto Ricans. <sighs> if I own this, I throw it. <laughs> Come on, man, bro. What what is it you like? Give me a fetish you like that you think is crazy. Cause I can't answer that. I'm a regular nigga. I just travel. Low key, like I like when a girl might might lick my nipple real quick. I ain't never had that. Yeah, it's, it's, actually I had it, but ain't I don't know. I ain't never do that. See nothing how you me. all the necks and shit? Cause it's it's like I need you to give me something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you trying to be smooth. I'm not trying to be smooth. You don't, you don't, I really got to think about it. You don't sew to the world. I want to get married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like lips. Yo, put I really got to think about it. You said all the smooths, but you won't. No, I really got to think about this shit now, bro. You don't think I think about what you like? Nah, it's not that. Like, if I had to really think about that, I don't think about, about it. About I'm, about the dude, I'm the one who like to do the pressure. Let me this. You ready? Yeah. You watch porn? Yeah. What's the craziest thing you searched on porn? Flexible. See? You be trying to be too smooth. Flexible. How? That's my shit. That's crazy. No. I didn't say it was. Okay, what's You see how quick my answer came out? That's what I like. No. It's <laughs> the fuck what I like. <laughs> fuck you and get mad at me. I'm just a person. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, I fuck with you. You my nigga. Yo. Um, oh, okay. You got something. Damn. I probably don't. I ain't. No, you don't. I'm Because I normally don't, I like to do the pleasure. I don't be asking for much. I like to do the pleasure. So there's nothing I'd be asking for. Give me a I back massage had, or something. I wish we had I commercials because I would do it and then talk to you. Because you know you'd be too smooth. I don't know, bro. You like to pleasure the girls. I don't know. I'm a finger you. Suck on my finger. It's the best I could think of. <sighs> <laughs> you tight. You tight, nigga. I don't know. I like the pleasure, bro. I can't clip that up. 
You can. <laughs> you can't clip Watch that. this. That's hey, not a reel. Hey, look. Nobody wants to see that reel. Yo, I like the pleasure, you know what I'm saying? So Let watch me. this. Look at my man, this art. Hey, look. So this is what we're going to do, all right? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to kiss your neck. When I, when I go ahead and kiss your neck and I bite, I want you to lick my earlobe, all right? And we're going to go. We're going to work our way downtown. I'm going to caress your body. I'm a whole hourglass figure shape. We're going to run down silky smooth like the sands of a desert. And then we're going to take off, okay? And then when we there. Hey, Carson, we did. Your... Check this out, right? <laughs> Play the song. Check this out. <laughs> I knew you was getting tight Should a me. man always have to ask the father to marry the daughter? Nah. I used to think so, but nah. Why? So why not? Because these days. You used to think so? I used to so think so. So why? Because a lot of women I dated, they don't respect their father. They don't respect if their father. If they don't respect the father, you don't respect the father. It's not that, bro. If you don't have a relationship with him, why not? Now, you say father figure, right? Like they have a stepfather or uncle that they really give a fuck about. Okay. That's who I'm asking. Okay. But so 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 if they have a father figure. A father, yeah, 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 I'm asking. You have to. You think it's, you have yeah, to. Yeah, when I bought the ring, I asked her that. Now, ch check this out. Say they got a father figure, but they don't rock with him. As a man, do you still say, I still want to get this? That's not a father figure. What you mean? A father you don't figure think, you, don't a father. Think, you don't think people have parents that they don't like, but they was good parents? There are a lot of people in this world who had, oh, I get what you who had I get what solid saying. pair, but they just I, don't like I, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Okay, so boom. I get what you're saying. You, you sit back as a man. You know your girl. You see the mom. You see the dad. You know, okay, he's a solid dad. She don't like him for whatever reason, but he is a good dad. Do you still ask the father yeah. for, for permission? Hell yeah, 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 yeah. You do? Uh, yeah. Even if your girl say, you ain't got to ask him. Yeah, I'm still doing it. Because if he a good father and I can see the actions of a real father, I'm asking him. Man to man, I'm asking you, bro. I thought you were saying like, yeah, man, she got a father, but you know, she don't fuck with that nigga. They don't, they don't talk. Then no, nah, I'm not gonna ask the nigga. Who the fuck is he? Mm -hmm. Who the fuck are you? Mm -hmm. Now for you, you gonna ask him? I think, I, yeah, for sure. I think we say that because we dads, man. You know what? That might be true because I'm a dad, so I, I would want. No, I got a daughter. But, you gonna but, ask but me? But no, 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 no. You know, I was I was raised with a lot of like that kind of like morals and. All right. And, 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 you know, so I would, I would do that for sure. So I got a if, question for you. If the pops was a piece of shit and they didn't rock with each other and, like, he wasn't into life, then that's different. I got a question for you. If your daughter was going about to go on prom, right, her first prom. Hold on. See, you going too deep. Now, this is where I want. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Let me get there. Let me get there. Don't ask me about. No, 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 no. If your daughter's going to go on prom, are you going to the bad boys to it with the dude? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. I got to make sure of that. Yeah, me and my homeboy going to answer the door, act like crazy. You seen, uh, I forgot what movie it was, a 50 Cent. 50 I think Den of Thieves. He, he, he tucked the uh, bandana in his pocket. Yeah. yeah. That, for there sure. Go. I ain't gonna lie. Get you a daughter. Do that. That, that's the day. That's, I'm waiting for that day. Mm -hmm. You stepping in this room, bro. Mm -hmm. You see all these guns? Pick which one you want to hurt. Exactly. You know what I mean? Pick which bullet you want. Don't exactly. put your name on it. Hurt, exactly. my, hurt my little girl. So let me ask you. So we talk about kids, right? Yeah. You feel like kids should always speak to adults when they come in your house? Is that hell like a thing? Like, greet them. Hell yeah, I'm Haitian. So when an adult comes in your house, the kid has to speak first. No. You just no. say yeah. No, I thought you meant if the kid come in the house, they got to speak. Yeah, you got to say hi to everybody and walk through that door. You got to greet everybody. But if an adult come in and my son is right there, you got to say hi to my son too. <clears throat> my son is here. He'll say before you. So the son don't speak. Oh, he got to say hi back. But who? But and so whoever come through that door, you got to greet everybody in the house. I don't know. It might be a Miami thing, an island thing. I don't know. Whoever walked through that motherfucking door, whoever you see in that house, you say hi to everybody. You know how long it takes me to say hi and bye at Thanksgiving? There's a lot of people. Right. We walk in. We, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, mommy? You know what I'm saying? We do all of that. Front, back. And my son got to run it too. When I tell my son we leaving, I know he get mad. Damn, there's a lot of people. <laughs> now, you, you, you got a son. Yeah. Now... This is, this is a tough question. You don't got to answer it. Be like, y'all don't want to answer that shit. Is there any... Think about this. Tough. Is there any the way in the world you could see you being a deadbeat dad? Nah. No. Nothing? No. I do, my son is my world. I do everything with my son. That's, that's like my best friend, bro. That's why I don't see it. Anybody see my son, we have literally the same personality. Mm -hmm. My son comes to my crib. I already know what we're going to do. I don't got to ask him. Now, we have the same thought. Yes, yes, yes. I want to make it difficult, though. But I don't. You know what? Let's try stay away it. from nah, that. make it difficult. Let's, let's, yeah, let's stay away from that. Because the question coming back to you, too. Let's stay away from that. Let's stay away. You want to stay away? It don't matter to me. 
All right, I'm gonna ask you this. I'm on face. <laughs> I'm at, this is what I'm saying. Like, let's say the mom took the kids and moved to England or moved to Africa. Somewhere you without your permission. Right? Yeah. And that's somewhere you don't really have you don't have access to get into like that. I'm gonna get access. Salute. I'm gonna get access. Salute. He ain't Salute. taking my drip. Salute. He ain't Salute. taking my drip. I already told her, I'm planning on, I wanna move. I wanna move outside of Florida. So I already told her, like, look, I wanna move. I'm gonna have him move here with you. When he's a teenager, he comes to me. Does the, does the girl that you date have to have a relationship with your baby mom? Nah, y'all gotta be cordial. Just cordial. You have to be? Just, just cordial. Y'all don't gotta have a relationship. So what is she like? I don't fuck with her. I don't, no. I don't fuck with her. I see what you're trying to do. It's admirable, Carson. I don't like her. It's not gonna happen. I love you. Whatever you want me to do, I'm gonna do it. But that girl over there, it's a wrap. So what you wanna do? It's be just like this. Hey, look, bro, you don't gotta talk to her, bro. She's gonna pick him up. It's gonna take two minutes. I gotta go. That's it. You don't gotta talk to her. All right, bye, Zan. So, they don't, so they, don't have, they don't have to get along with your baby. Nah, mom. they don't gotta be buddy, buddy. They don't gotta be buddy, buddy. They don't gotta get along at all. Nah, bro, I ain't gonna lie, dog. I got a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of homegirls that already don't like my baby mama, so it's the same shit. But that ain't your girl. It's obviously the baby mama their problem. Mm -hmm. So if it comes down to my lady, that's my lady, that's my future, this is the side I'm rocking with. We here to take care of this one little nigga. That's it, that nigga right there. You allow disrespect from other females about your baby mom? Nah, if you want them like, you tight, tight, tight with me, and you know me and my BM relationship, say what you want. But if you don't know us, don't talk shit about my BM. Cause my BM is a no, mother this, at the Let's say day. this is your girl. Y'all arguing, your son there. Can she say? Nah. Nah, my son. You there. can't disrespect. Nah, the mom. Nope. For under no condition. Nah, not in front of my, not in front of my son, especially not in front of my son. My son not getting raised around them conditions. I'm shutting the whole room down. Everybody going to the corner. Both mamas. Boom. What? Yeah, everybody going to the corner. How you gonna put somebody in the corner? Don't worry about me. Everybody going to the fucking corner. Fuck all that shit. Hey, look, separate. You there? You there? I say a fortnight. Let's go. <laughs> Simple as that. Mm. Everybody going to the corner because we not doing that. We not. We adults, man. Learn how to be. That's fucking not gonna happen. Though. Let's be realistic. You ain't see me mad for real. I'll shut a whole fucking room down. I'll shut a whole fucking room down. I'm a whole nother nigga when I'm at. Mm. Everybody shutting the fuck up. Mm. I mean the whole room. I don't care who you is. Everybody shutting the fuck up. And if, so, if anybody try to test that, you don't want to see what's gonna happen next. Nobody gonna test that. I'm, I'm too much of a goofy person. You're not going to test that shit. I'm too much of a goofy person. No, let's see. That's oxymoron right there. No, it's not. When they say in school... You're too much of a goofy person, so they're going to respect it? They always say, don't mess with the quiet kid or the funny kid for a reason. Why? I know the funny kid. I know the quiet kid. Why don't they mess funny with the funny kid? Funny kid, the same shit. Are they going to pick on you? He, no, he's having a good time. What what happens when he turn that funny off? See that smile? Yeah. You said earlier I was crazy. You are crazy. Yeah. Eh. I think I was dropped in my head a couple of times. Probably down a flight of stairs. Into a, a pool. Who can say? <laughs> it's the way you look at me like, damn. My mama hate when I say that shit. She goes, bruh. Bruh, what? I don't know. Why she hate? Because she dropped you? Nah, she ain't never dropped me. That's why she always say that shit. Oh, because you just... Don't make me seem like a bad mama. Oh, I didn't say it was a bad mama. I what? ate. I had a roof over my head. Right. I just like to fuck around. I'm pissing my mama off. I just right. give her that look, just... You know, I got eight other siblings, bro. We're a big-ass family. My thing is, because you've been single for six years. Yeah. By choice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do this. <laughs> right? Ain't no more in there. You drinking nothing. Nah, when they hand me the bottle. Uh, I guess. You've been single... Why do you think? Is it, you've, have you tried to date? Yeah, man. So, okay. So, <sighs> is it you? Nope. All right, see, do you think that's not, like, no self-accountability there, like... Oh, no, nah, there's accountability. I just know it's not me. What's wrong with you? What'd you think? If you, if you had to say, what's my worst... I'm clingy. That's, that, that would keep the relationship. No, it won't. See, you, no, you be won't. trying no, to be Superman. No, it won't. 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 Because I got told that a by girl, Shorty. A girl... A girl not going to like I got you being told, clingy? I got told that by Shorty, bro. Like, literally, I took her out on a date, whole date, planned the whole shit, right? So we went out, went to the museum, paid for dinner... Went out to go dance, and she texted me the next day. I just can't do this, bro. You're just too fucking clingy for me. Really? Yes. So don't say, you can't say it's because I'm too clingy. 
I plan these shits, but it's a whole nother world, bro. Women are highly independent. They don't give a fuck about a lot of that shit. You know what I mean? A lot of women just You brand. plan a date and somebody tell you it was too clingy. Bro, I planned a whole event. Whole event. I could tell you how everything went that day. Next day, nah, man, you're just too clingy. That's like, crazy. Backwards to me, too. I got five sisters. I did what they told me to do. Nah, man, you're just too clingy. You heard the story when the car got stolen. Went on a date. I just came working 72 hours. That was a whole date. You mad, you mad I fell asleep. I was tired, bro. I'm in there. Everything with me except the gun. The gun got stolen. What you want me to do? <laughs> what you want me to do? All right, so look. Be real. <laughs> My life different, man. Because you weren't on there when I said this. You had an STD before, right? No, actually. I seen the episode. No, all no, right, no. Bro. You tell me I perfect. Put, I put this on everything. No, no, no. You no, no. had an STD. All the crazy <clears throat> shit you did in your life on all these nah. episodes. I want y'all to go to episode two and three. You ain't never had no STD. No. No. Nothing. No. Clean bean. Clean bean. I got I got test results to prove it. Then they're gonna prove however long ago. They dated. I got test results to prove it. You know the comments is going the comments are gonna retire this, you. This, this is y'all problem with a lot of y'all niggas, man. <laughs> a lot of y'all niggas just be jumping into anything, you know what I'm saying? The bitch smell like a uh car a, a, a used condoms? Yeah. All the time. Depending on the partner. If you smell different when I'm down there, now nah, I'm switching. Only smell makes you not use it. No, that's a lot of things, bro. A woman know you would know when a woman got some shit. You How you know, know when somebody have an STD? Cause they be moving weird. They be moving weird, bro. I was with this shorty once, right? We was talking all through COVID era. <laughs> I was with this shorty once, right? Oh, and shorty pulled up to my crib, right? And everybody know me. I love the foreplay. I like to eat and all that shit. Man, I don't think we're gonna go ahead and smash. I'm trying to go down on her, eat out. She goes, nah, 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 come up. I'm like, nah, you good. Kiss her neck. Try to go down. Nah, 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 I'll come up. I said, hold on, man. Let me go in my drawer, bro. You got me fucked up. <laughs> you got me fucked up. You're not gonna even let me see it down there. She ain't let me see shit. She I might went, have been hairy or like she ain't shaved. Hairy ain't nothing to a grown man, man. That ain't shit. No, to a female, that's, that, that, that's man, tough. Sh- a grown man gonna show you ain't shit. There's nothing you could do if a female's like, dang, I'm not proper. Nah, bro, bro. She was not even letting me go past the titty. I'm like, what? She's telling me come up. I said, nah, you got something down there. You got something. There. So, something down there is hot. Hot. Hot ones level hot. Like, it's hot sauce burning down there, bro. I threw one on so quick. I said, where that Jimmy at? <laughs> Went to the... And the worst oh. part is, the pussy was trash. Wait, you suspected an STD. You still clapped, though. No, with, a, with a rubber, hell yeah. <laughs> you a nigga. And that's the worst part. It was trash. <laughs> that's the worst part. She ain't do nothing. No. Just fucking laid there. The responsible thing is, I think you got something. Let's not do this. You still clap. Yeah, I'm a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, gots to see it through, my boy. Gots to see it through. Oh, my God, bro. He is crazy, yo. Gots to see it through. Look, man. <laughs> this is another episode. Yo, this is another episode of I Say That to Say This podcast. This nigga crazy. Hi, I'm this nigga. Signing out. Y'all <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting. Remember, April 27, April 28, we in Orlando. The basketball tournament and the battles are going down. Y'all lock in. Salute. Appreciate the support. We out. Over here at the right, we get tired of people complaining about matchups not going down. Shout out to my little DJ Gotti, The Riot, my debut. Y'all lied to me and said that this bitch lyrical. Now get spiritual. You get in a quick burial. I show up to your funeral like huh, hilarious. I'm hysterical. Your family screaming, why 2J? Like press Derek. <laughs> bitch! 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 They keep telling me rocks outside, rocks outside and been outside. A lot of times when you call somebody out, they, they got the, the negative energy. They find it as a yes or whatever. Yeah. Right. It's one of them ones. You, know? you done done. Wrong punch and a round turns quickly. I grip or get one gun. Wait, reverse that. Gun one. Get a grip. I quickly turn around and punch wrong. Yeah. Everybody that beats a ward wins champion of the year. It's my turn. Tay Rock is dead. Good night. April 28th. Orlando, Florida, main event, we giving everybody that matchup that they've been begging for.